All right. Now the topic is like you should spend about forty minutes on this task. Write about the following topic, and topic is it is a common aspiration. Now, when you read the topic, you have to convert the topic or interpret the topic in your own language. For example, it is a common aspiration. Common aspiration means a common ambition or a common desire, like something everybody wants to do. Among many young people. to run their own business now <clears throat> what's the topic this is a very common desire that people want to run their own business running their own business means they want to become entrepreneurs okay rather than work for an employer now what is work for an employer now 9 to 5 job you are working for somebody so instead of that you can many people want to have their own business so this is the topic do you think from do you think we understand it is an opinion essay do you think do you believe agree disagree we understand it's an opinion essay do you think the advantages of working for yourself working for yourself means your own business outweigh the drawbacks now i told you advantages outweigh drawbacks this is also opinion essay okay positive or negative development that is also opinion essay now please tell me doing your own business and 9 to 5 job which one is better business is better for some of you 9 to 5 job will be better so if 9 to 5 job is better you need to come up with two reasons why job is better and if you think business is better you need to come up with two two reasons why business is better okay maybe you are more independent when you are doing your own business second you can earn profits uh in job you have only salary so something like that so you can spend around 3 to 4 minutes thinking about the topic coming up with ideas that i will write this 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 and all that now uh give reasons for your answer and include any relevant examples from your own knowledge or experience and write at least 250 words this is extremely important many students do not reach this target of 250 words and by the way 250 word limit is minimum you may write 300 350 but remember you have 1 hour for two tasks in task 1 you are supposed to write 150 words and task 2 250 words so if you can write comfortably 300 words 350 words that's perfectly all right but do not write less than 250 for task 2 and less than 150 for task 1 okay now when you start your introduction in introduction the first sentence is a general sentence about the topic general sentence about the topic and what's the topic running your own business or doing a job so these days it is a common aim of many people leaving university to try to start up their own company this is a general sentence about the topic they believe that running a business has many advantages over working for someone else such as freedom to make your own decisions so this is what we call the sentence where you have paraphrased the topic okay this is what they have given in the question they believe and all that next we call it a thesis sentence a thesis sentence tells the examiner the type of essay you are writing when you write i agree examiner will understand now this is opinion essay okay if you are writing problem solution essay and you write in this essay i will highlight the issues and provide proper solution examiner will understand this is a problem solution essay so thesis sentence in your introduction is extremely important because this sentence tells the examiner the type of essay you are writing i agree with this point of view but it is important to bear in mind that running a company does not suit everybody so it's just like you know you are taking one side but you are saying that it does not suit everybody okay there are several benefits of setting up your own business now you will talk about two benefits because it is advantages outweigh drawbacks so you will think about two advantages for two body paragraphs the first one is the main one is that you can copy the phrases like there are several benefits of you can copy it from here and use in any other essay of this type for me the main one is that you have room to be creative 
so first advantage of running your own business is you can be creative in a nine to five job you cannot be creative sometimes you try to become creative and they fire you from the job okay for me the main one is that you have room to be creative instead of having to follow your employer's decision you can set the goals for the business yourself which means that you feel more in control this generally results in people feeling happier in their job so this is the conclusion of this paragraph like when you are in control when you are creative you become happy okay so this generally results in people feeling happier in their job so the first paragraph and the first benefit or first advantage is room to be creative and remember one thing when you write essay in body paragraph you should come up with one main idea that's it don't stuff your essay with five benefits in one paragraph then five more then you say i wrote 20 benefits you will not get any good band for that because they see well developed ideas now what is a well developed idea a well developed idea is where you give one idea you elaborate that idea you give a relevant example and you conclude okay let's look at the next paragraph not only that you can also keep the profits so what is the second benefit profits you can keep the profits if the company is successful if all goes well you will earn far more than if you work for someone else for instance if you set up your own graphic design company now you can create any example for instance if you set up your own graphic design company for instance if you open your own cafe for instance if you open your own burger bar you can give any example no problem okay so if you set up your own graphic design company and you build a good reputation you will be able to make substantial profits you will therefore be more motivated to work hard in order to make a success of your company so two benefits we mentioned now we come towards the paragraph which is called contrast now over here we will talk about disadvantages because in the beginning he said running a business does not suit everybody now we will discuss that if we don't discuss it your essay is going to be incomplete so you need to discuss that as well having said that it is undeniable that running a business is risky now this is the disadvantage it is risky if there is an economic downturn or you make mistakes in your business decisions your company can go bust company can go bust means company can go bank bankrupt and out of profits and all that which can mean that you lose everything and you have to lay off your staff lay off your staff means you tell someone that we don't have work for the next 3 months without salary you go and after 3 months we will call you back that is what we call layoff layoff means to dismiss someone from the job for the time period without any salary layoff <clears throat> okay moreover it is very hard to switch off at weekends because the business is always in the back of your mind business people are always thinking 9 to 5 people after 5 when they reach home they don't think about their job right it's like that so this is contrast paragraph in body of the essay we have written three paragraphs two supporting arguments to support our opinion and one contrast paragraph and for every opinion essay you have to follow this five paragraph structure next to sum up there is no doubt there are some risks associated with running your own business now he's going to conclude and what is conclusion what is better running a business is better or doing a job is better so he says uh are risks uh, associated with running your own business i believe the benefits outweigh the drawbacks benefits of running your business they outweigh the drawbacks particularly with regard to making decisions however it should be said that not everyone is a risk taker and some prefer to work for someone else okay so this is how you're going to write your opinion essay and i told you how far do you agree disagree positive development negative development advantages outweigh drawbacks all these are the kinds of opinion essays right good